Ancient Rome was one of the greatest empires within our history. To be Roman was to be elite, and to succeed in Rome was to immortalize yourself. Three men of ancient Rome sought to do exactly that, Ovid, Cicero, and Seneca. They all lived 100 years apart from each other. They died in really different ways. Uh, they lived under different political rulers, different political regimes. So it seems like they don't really have a lot in common, except for the fact that at the height of all their careers, they were exiled. When you're exiled, it's sort of like removing the naughty kid from the classroom. You take away their audience, you take away their power, and you effectively silence them. Because when you change a person's environment, you change the person. When I go home, I am the bratty middle child of five siblings. God help my mum in a few weeks. But when I'm at university, I'm an incredible academic that can sometimes read for up to seven minutes at a time. And it's no different for our guys. Cicero went for arguing and defending the Senate of Rome to asking his friends, what's happened to my house? Ovid went from writing great epic love poetry that would just make you want to fall in love to writing four books entitled Sadness. Seneca went from writing massive, incredibly weird, tragic stage plays that would make you thank God Freud wasn't around um, to asking his friends, how's my mother doing? I really, really, really miss her. Because when you change the environment, you change the person. And it was like that for these people. I want to find out if not only the environment outside of Rome affected them, but how they affected the environment by what they wrote. Did Ovid's wine bottle really freeze in the middle of Romania because it was just that cold? Did Seneca really struggle not having a city, but he was exiled to an island that had an identical climate to Rome? Was it really, really, really difficult for Cicero to choose how to leave Italy, knowing he had to just leave? See, these questions require a scientific answer. And science and art can walk hand in hand when we dare to ask these questions of each other. Because our environment's changing, so how are we going to change with it? These guys experience that changing environment. Thank you.